this home sweet home? Home sweet home, real deep. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is like one day I wish I had snowshoes. My door is in position. Well, we're blessed right now with about four feet of snow where we're at. Lee's on the shovel now, just taking some out. We've packed some of it down, but it was just not gonna fly with just the tarp down there. It was like we were in quicksand. It's just straight sugar. Like, look at straight sugar. I'm asleep. All right, well, it's not very pretty, but we got camp set up. The tarp isn't ideal. It's gonna hopefully keep us at least somewhat dry. Um, we do have some heavy thermal blanket on the floor to keep it insulated in the middle. Our tarp needs to be about twice as big. Yeah. So I think we're gonna probably just set up camp here and then we're gonna pack up the trailers and head to another lake before hunkering down for the night. All right, so on the menu today, Lee's gonna cook up some popcorn chicken on the old buddy heater. We don't have our stove with us today. We don't have a propane stove, so we're actually using our uh, our fishing heater. This is what we use for ice fishing. This is a big buddy, Mr. Heater branded heater. It's got a couple panels that runs off of propane and normally it's meant to heat fish houses, but today it's meant to cook popcorn chicken. All right, lunch is done. Got a little bit of a trail ride back to the truck, so we gotta load up and then get going to the lake and come back here to sleep. Alright guys, so we're in our home for the night. Here's uh, my cot. I've got one of those self-inflating pads. This one's a Sea to Summit. Um, I got a zero degree bag. Here's the tarp that we laid down. It's kind of kind of falling down right now. We've got a big buddy heater on low. Got a little propane lantern that Lee brought hanging from the ceiling that's giving us some heat. And then that's my fan for my truck. Just That's not really doing much right now, but we're hoping that it pushes some of the heat down because we are on like a two foot snowbank. So you can see that the ice house or the tent that we're using is right there. The ground level is way down here. So when we shoveled all that snow out earlier, we were kind of left with that. Um, definitely beats sinking down a couple feet when we're walking on the tarp though. I'm charging up my batteries right now. For tomorrow but yeah Lee and I are both pretty tired we're uh, gonna hit the hay Oh jeez. Give her probably a solid ten below. Ten below right now? I guess 
I don't know. It doesn't feel like that in here. All right, it's morning time. Lee's got some coffee going. Oh, no. Lee said he slept amazing. I slept pretty decent too, but my cot is also at a, no, it's not. It's like this, it's a downward slope. And I'm also missing one of my crossbars for the bottom, so my feet kind of ended up in a snowbank last night when I extended fully. Yeah, you can see I was like tracking snow in here. And then I was also sliding down towards the snowbank because of the uh, of the little slope. But we're gonna leave the tent set up for right now, but we're gonna go catch some, catch some trout hopefully. Thanks, bro. What are you doing? Who, me? There's fish biting right now. Come on. Well, they're underground. You're wrong. camp where we slept last night. No, you might not have gotten a great look at it yesterday, but it's just a, just a nice fishing shack in the snow. Um, gives you more perspective as how much snow there is right now. That's how much snow we shoveled out yesterday. Got a little bit of a run. Lee already went out there. It's probably smashing fish, so we're gonna get out there and try to smash some fish too. They say, more snow, more problems. It's a good thing Lee came back, because else I would have been digging for a while. I don't know if I'd have been doing any fishing today. Yeah, winter camping in negative 10 degrees. Not as bad as everybody says it is. So I got my tent set up right here. Lee's got his right there. We're roughly in the same depth of water, but we're just a little further down. It's a big uh, kind of gravelly flat here, and then um, there's a weed line behind us. But we're going after some splake trout today. We caught some yesterday. It's a cold one this morning though, if you can't tell from my breath. I got the snowmobile stuck twice. Pulled the drone around a little bit. I took my sweet time this morning. But we're almost fishing. Fish on. Little guy. Alright, there's the splake. I'm gonna get him right back because it's so cold out. I don't want to injure these fish. It is really important to get fish right back in the water so their slime doesn't freeze and really cause these trout some damage. So that one was a little small to keep. I already got one in my possession. I don't really know how many more I need in my freezer, so 
we're not gonna be keeping many fish today unless we have one die on us. Hey, Sean. Poor guy. Again. Pretty much a cookie cutter size there. He rolled around the snow a little bit too much. Sorry, I didn't get to give you a good look at that one. I got a little school down there or something. I don't even have bait on right now, and I'm just going to drop right back down. Yep, there's one coming up off the bottom. Yep. Oh. Come back. Lee, they're loving this rattle bait. Boy, when your hands get wet, it doesn't take much to make them cold. That's a big mark. That's a big fish. This one's not too sure about it. Let's try something quick. Got some scent. Gonna take some scent. We'll put it on that worm. Rub it in a little bit. Now let's see if he's got commitment issues. Oh, <laughs> what? No way. <laughs> Dude, that's hilarious. Well, yeah, I messed this one up, but dude, oh my gosh, instant! You gotta put scent on, dude. That's the that's the ticket. Oh my gosh! Another little guy. Put back down. Lee, I just got a, <laughs> I just got footage of me jigging this fish, it not committing, me pulling the bait up, putting scent on it, and then it hammering it instantly. That is ridiculous. A little bigger. Oh, yeah. You do? So I'll give everybody a look at what I'm using. Just got one of those Rattle baits. This one's a Z Viber, tipped with a uh, a butter worm they call it. And then the real ticket today has been this stuff. This is a uh, anise scent. Lee is actually the first person that told me a couple years back about anise scent for trout, and I thought he was crazy because anise, for those of you that don't know, star anise is a herb commonly used in like Thai food. Um, it also makes a really good fish scent so every time I've been doing what I just did there throwing some scent on there and dropping it back down um, I've been catching fish and it's been when the fish are finicky and I put that scent on they'll literally hit it on the drop they'll hit it when the lure is falling down which is crazy because usually I'm jigging I'm waiting for a fish to come up and eat it but these fish just come in and smell it and eat it oh there's a fish They're so cool. Ah, I wish I could show you them more, but I don't want to kill them. Check out that guy. Well, just shut the GoPro off to start packing up and another fish hit. Just about got my sleeve wet on that one. Not gonna be fun to pack up with a wet sleeve. Sorry, dude.
Thanks. Yeah, man. It's it a good time. Yeah. I was super intimidated coming out here, not gonna lie. Like, um, if I didn't have you, I don't know if I would've been able to do half the stuff we did. Um, getting stuck and finding <laughs> fish and camping out. It's a lot of gear for one guy to bring, so I really appreciate it. Yeah, it's a good one to go with your buddy on. There's a, you never know what's gonna happen, but nothing to be scared of. I mean, you know, at the end of the day, it's, you can hike out uh, if you need to, and it's, uh, I think, an underutilized resource because people are just a little bit nervous about it. You know? Yeah. And the DNR is actually doing a bunch of surveys right now to try to figure out what they want to do with stocking. And, okay. You know, I think they're, they're starting to see that, that it's tapering off a bit, but, mm -hmm. which it's nice having the lake to yourself, but at the same time, it takes, you know, dollars to make it happen, so. Right, so hopefully we can get some more people to come up this way with, uh, with this video. Yeah. So I guess my challenge to you guys is to get outside this week. Um, and as always, thank you so much for tuning this episode. It was a lot of fun to film. And thanks again to Lee for taking me out to his, uh, his secret spots. So thanks again for tuning in this episode of Mav. Until next time, my name is Maverick. And you know the drill. Just keep on trucking.